Oh, what we're doing today, uh, yesterday I had an emergency call from one of my customers who was punted off a track. No, no big damage, but... Front row. Broke his wing. So... And he goes back in four days. So I have to build a mold set and build a new wing in four days because these are wood. Which I thought was kind of wild. super neat. Yeah, it was wild to hear that that's all wood, basically. So, so we're, we're mad thrashing to get that redone. So let's go take a look. By the way, to give you guys some context of what he means by rush job, the owner left Thermal in California and drove all the way back to Michigan to meet Cody so he could get this wing so he can make an entire new mold to get it ready by Tuesday. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a big rush job and he has to go back to Thermal. Here it is. So we're building a mold on this. Mitchell's been helping me deal with all kinds of stuff today, get all this done. Uh, we're gonna do a, I'm gonna try to do this tweak this to, in my, in my previous wing videos, I do a, a top half and a bottom half wing and I glue them together. Well, I'm gonna try to build this mold to where it's, the molds bolt together with a one piece carbon wing on the inside. It's gonna be interesting to see how I do it with infusion, but I'm gonna try it that way because I, did, I don't really have time to do all the binding and all that crap. So, do a couple more hours of work trying to lay it up versus two, three days of trying to glue stuff together, so. Here we are, we're gonna get ready to lay some glass. I just want to apologize guys because we were in a groove we just got on the move and just started working on this wing as much or as fast as we could getting the fiberglass laying down as cody's heating it up a little bit so how'd the process go this was easy i haven't done an easy shape in it forever everything i've done over the last couple years for molds has been not easy so I was about to say it was a it was a great coaching opportunity for Brian and myself. I'm a pro now. Yep, we're we're basically pros. No, but it was it was super cool to see how quickly and how much we were able to get done with three people working on it. Yeah, we jammed it out. It was under two hours. Yeah. So tomorrow we we'll get to flip it over, peel the cardboard off, and then mold the bottom side. And it's gonna made up right against this mold. That way it's a perfect match when they bolt together. Sweet! It's a new day here, working on uh, the under part of the wing. So, uh, yeah, put, peeled off the cardboard off. Everything was pretty good, except for this middle part. I don't know. So normally I use PVA for molding and a chance not using it for this in the interest of saving time. It might have really bit us because if you zoom in, you can see the wrinkle. You can see the wrinkle, which means the resin interacted with the vinyl sticker on the top of the wing. I'm hoping it's only on the edge, but I, I think the whole thing, this whole center section is wrinkled really badly, which is a lot of freaking work. So basically we'll have to sand the heck out of it and then uh, fill it and sand it again, which is like three, four hours. So 
Less than ideal. So Brian and I are gonna help him a little bit more today. So you're probably just gonna see a bunch of scattered footage of the GoPro and me randomly holding the camera. So uh, yeah, enjoy the time-lapse montage slash, you know, random clips that you're about to see to get this wing done. A few moments later. So we're trying to separate the mold halves from each other. Bottom's good. This stuff is fine, it's just paint that came off. So all we gotta do is fill those holes. Just slap a bunch of glass in. So bottom, totally popped with. Happy with that? Great, wonderful, grand. <laughs> all right, put over. No, nope, you grab the wing and peel it right off. Yeah, vinyl. That's okay. Final's easy. So we do have wrinkle. So we gotta fix that. So what happened is I think this vinyl either reacted or got hot. And it just so I, yeah, I think we got a pretty good shape. Yeah, I think I think it got hot. Well, no. Because this didn't. So I think it reacted with a different vinyl. Okay, so. Next! <laughs> so it just has to be filled and stuff? Which is not an easy thing. Yeah, not an ideal thing. Yep. So we're gonna do that. We gotta fill that anyway, so it's, we're kinda doing the same stuff. But, yep, it's all right. We'll fill it and just have to sand that little bit in the top. This is what it is. Good morning guys, I just got to the shop and uh, Cody's been working extremely hard on getting this wing done and uh, let's see what he's been doing with it. All right, so you got all the flow media off. Now you, uh, what are you about to do? Uh, I'm trimming up the final profile and such. Mark and tape and cut. Kind of rinse and repeat, huh? Yeah, I guess it's some Japanese proverb or something like that. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I know you still got a lot of work to do, so uh, we'll let you get to it. like 70 hours to get uh, that wing into molds and into a wing. So, it's not show quality, but it works. Um, should fit pretty good. Uh, we ended up being 9.9 .9 pounds. And the old wing, where the, the yellow one, uh, that was, yeah. So we ended up saving three pounds. And then we also did carbon brackets to mount this wing to the car, which is out in California. So these save five ounces and you know, it's scrap, but it's better. So now we get to load up and uh, I gotta go meet John, drive four hours south through a snowstorm and get it to him so he can hop on a plane and go drive around in California. 
So that's gonna do it guys. Like you said, it was a very, very long weekend. I was really appreciative. I got to be a part of it, learn some things. So again, I know this video is kind of all over the place. We were all hands on deck. So thank you again, as always for watching. Thank you again for subscribing. Like the video for the algorithm to help support us, make sure we can kind of get a little bit more reach out there and stay tuned. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And then we'll see you in the next one.